Hey, what's up you guys? It's Nicholas Lionrider, and today we have a very special video, and that is going to be going over the changes that were created to this guy right here, the Binturong. So, the Binturong was one of the animals that was released with the Southeast Asia pack, and I know some content creators have, uh, Best in Slot being one of them, uh, did a comparison video of the Binturong, but I thought I would, uh, basically, uh, do a more in-depth view of the changes that were created to the Binturong specifically uh, and do a kind of deep dive. So it won't just be just an analysis of the visual element in-game, though uh, I will say we will be showing that off later in the video. But I thought we'd start out the video by uh, taking a look at this. So this is the brand new Binturong model. And thanks to some uh, of my inside sources, I don't want to name them to get in trouble. I have a few sources that have provided me with uh, some of the stuff that I have for this video. This is the original Binturong. So this is what we were originally going to get, which I must admit, it was not nearly as bad as the initial teaser image made it out to be. The original image made it look like it was like a wombat. It was super obese. And... As you can see, this is not the case. It was not going to be as bad as people were making it out to be. Though, there are definitely some changes to the face and stuff that easily, you know, needed to be made. So the first thing I want to talk about are the ear tufts. So in the original model, if we go into uh, the modeling tab, we can see that the original model had the ear tufts actually sculpted in using geometry. So that means that originally, the hair was going to be uh, basically made into a uh, 3D model, and then they were going to just use the fur shader over top it to make it get the effect. As we saw by the image, that really didn't work out so well. So if we take a look at what the uh, new idea was, if we go into the modeling tab, what they did was they actually changed it so that the ear tufts actually now just have uh, basically um, a type of uh, a bunch of planes. Uh, and it's basically very similar to how the whiskers are done. So it's just a 2D plane that is spammed all around the ears and it gives that desired effect of the uh, kind of transparent ear tufts and stuff. So the next few things that we need to take a look at, so the eyeballs as an example. So the eyeballs, uh, you know, visually seem to have changed significantly. Now, what's interesting is if we actually look at the textures. So if we go to the original texture file of the male, this is what the original Binturong texture looked like. So let's now look at what the modified texture is. This is what the modified texture looks like. As you can see, we actually got a slightly different color to the eyes, but that's it. That's the only thing that was really changed about the texture, is they just slightly changed the texture. So before, it was a little bit darker. Now, it's a little bit lighter. In game though, it looks like they actually made it so that the UVs of the eyes are a lot, make the pupil a lot smaller. So before, it was very, very large, but, uh, now it's a very, very uh, smaller slip. Uh, we might be able to literally just copy and paste into the uh, new model what the eyeballs would look like. If I can just try to get that, we can uh, probably hide the um, root there. There we go. So if we look at the eyeballs, I know this is going to look really weird, but if we look at the eyeballs on their own next to one another, we can see the significant changes that were created. So as you can see, these are the changes to the eyeballs. So in addition to that lighter color, they definitely made the pupils a lot more uh, clean looking, I guess, and a lot smaller. So the other thing is the original one had the eyeballs like kind of facing to the sides instead of face facing forward like the new ones. So that kind of gives it this kind of like janky looking effect. So that is kind of interesting. Uh, obviously, the eyeballs didn't change geometry at all. They're both spheres. But um, you can definitely tell there are significant eye changes. So that is kind of interesting. So the next thing we could probably look at is what changed to the face shape. So for that, we're going to actually just grab the entire model of the new version and paste it over top the, uh, the new version. Or, uh, and if you look kind of closely, 
nothing really changed. So as an example, I know a lot of people uh, were talking about how the um, the Binturong was significantly changed and stuff. If we look, the only thing they did is they basically just thinned out uh, the um, the stomach. So the uh, stomach and neck of the Binturong seems to be the only thing that changed. The actual face shape was not modified at all, which is really interesting. Again, if you want to see uh, clearly, the uh, orange line is what you are looking for. So let's actually probably make it a little bit easier for everyone to see. So if we put these side by side, and then once again, turn off the joints because they're a bit annoying. Um, if we look, there isn't significant changes. The tail appears to be drooped down ever so slightly. But other than that, the body uh, is just basically thinned out. The legs were modified slightly and the uh, face was modified slightly, or the neck I should say. But for the most part, it's very, very similar. Uh, it also looks like the face was ever so slightly uh, changed to be a little bit more uh, diamond shaped, I guess you could say. But for the most part, very, very similar. So it's not actually nearly as crazy as people uh, made it out to be. So if we actually look, it's very similar. <laughs> Uh, now, I think all of these things combined, because these are all basically little nitpick things, uh, resulted in a much better looking Binturong. So if you look at this, this still looks like a Binturong. Now, I'll be honest, some of my only gripes with it in its current state just come from the fact of it uses the otter proportions for some reason. So this actually does use the otter rig, which is the weirdest element of the entire thing. I think a lot of people, myself included, expected it to use the red panda, but instead we were all shocked to find that it moves and behaves kind of like an otter on land. Which isn't the worst thing, but um, I think it definitely surprised a lot of people. But this is where um, it really does come down to uh, if uh, a lot of people, if, if they truly did uh, fix this over the course of a two-day period, I think it is very doable. Because from what they've changed, it appears that they basically just fixed the ears and thinned it out. And that seems to be the only thing that actually changed, really, between updates. Um, if we want, we can grab a bunch of the other things that um, were, you know, changed, I guess, and just uh, basically just move these into place so that they're, um, you know, in, in line with the Binturong. I'm gonna try to line these up the best I can. Sorry. It might not be perfect, but there we go. And as you can see, it's definitely better looking. This one kind of looks a little derpy. This one looks like a Binturong. And for the most part, I think this is, actually isn't nearly as bad as, like I said, the original image made it out to be. So, uh, let's delete these really quick. We'll open up a new instance of Blender really quick. And we'll take a look at the female. Now, I'm almost positive that the female version uh, is basically very, very similar to the uh, male version. Uh, but we'll, we'll take a look really quick. And then I'm sure a lot of people are going to want to see what the babies look like, of course. So uh, if we just look at here, this is the original female. Again, it looks basically identical <laughs> to the... Uh, new one, or uh, the male, and then if we take a look at the new female, uh, which I have right here, female new, again, I'd assume it's basically going to look extremely <laughs> similar to the male. So, yep, there we go. Uh, yep, it looks basically the same as the male. <laughs> so, just to quickly, just, you know, if, in case people were wondering, oh, is the female different? It isn't different. It uses the exact same... Uh, rig and proportions as the male. So I will check out really quickly the juveniles because I'm sure a lot of people are interested in that because they do have different models. So the juvenile, if we open up the original one, and uh, in this tab we will open up the new juvenile really quickly. So let's go into here and open up our new juvenile. And while that loads, we will check out here. So this is what the old version of the baby Binturong looked like. And um, yeah, it's a it's a little weird looking. 
the ear tufts definitely don't work on this one. It definitely looks like a cat or something, and the the neck is very very fat. It 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 looks very not good. <laughs> um, very creepy looking, not very nice looking, but um, luckily if we check out the new version, um, new version is uh, pretty pretty nice actually. It's still a little weird looking in my opinion. I think it's certainly not the best, but they did fix the ear tuft issues. So what's funny is with the babies, they didn't even include the ear tufts really. They just uh, fixed the ears so that they don't even have them at all. Um, which honestly, I think actually kind of works better. It makes them look a little bit cuter, a little bit more bear-like. I know everyone keeps going like, oh, it's a bear cat, that's why, but um, definitely uh, a lot, you know, thinner. That's the other thing. You can significantly see the the changes in the weight of the Binturong baby. So if we go ahead, grab... Oh, I have both selected. If we just grab one of them, select it, pull it, put it next to it, and there we go. As you can see, it was a lot fatter before. The face was a lot more round and bear-like before. Now it's that nice diamond shape that we all have grown to love about the Binturong. And similarly, they have uh, thinned out the body significantly. It had, this literally looks like a bear. This is just a bear with weird ear tufts. And so this new version definitely looks a lot better. And then similarly, they use the exact same textures as the adults, so the eyes were also changed to um, basically uh, check that out. But for the second half of this video, I want to thank another source of mine, again, don't want to disclose who, but thank them for providing me some footage of what the old Binturong looked like in-game. So this is going to be exclusive footage for uh, never before seen, I guess, uh, and we'll go and analyze that. So give me a second and we'll hop over to that. And we are back. So here is the exclusive Binturong footage. So this was from the early access that some content creators were given. And uh, this is what the old one looked like. So like I was saying before, not nearly as bad as they originally made it out to be. It's very much uh, glitchy, but as do all climbing animals in the game. But it doesn't look as bad. It's not good looking, for sure. I am glad they redid it. It definitely... Um, looks much much better now in game but it's not that bad the big issue like i said is the ear tufts let's face it like once they fix that 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 went a long way into making this look uh, a lot better i am glad they thinned it out in the final product but even in this version it's not nearly as fat as they originally made it out to be it actually looks quite good in my opinion um, it does run like an otter in this version. Again, I want to thank my sources for showing me. Uh, it was a lot closer to an otter's movement. We unfortunately didn't get any footage of that. But take my word for it, it, worked, it ran exactly like the giant otter's animations before. Um, and they have since changed that, so that's also really nice. Um, so this just kind of shows off a lot of the basic animations and stuff. Like I said, it's just, it's very glitchy in the you know, uh, status of how it climbs and stuff. They have kind of improved it a little bit. This was one of the animations where it uh, plays with the boxes. Um, it basically inherited that, I believe, from the Red Panda. So the Binturong is, they call it technically a new rig, but it technically inherits a lot of different animations from several animals. So uh, the otters, the Red Pandas, and even, like, I think the bears have some animations that uh, were translated into the Binturong. Uh, but as you can see here, it's kind of cute. Again, a little bit glitchy. Um, this just wasn't done yet. And you could definitely tell. That's why I really don't think that the player feedback was the reason this changed. It seems very likely that Frontier was even aware when they gave access to some of these content creators. Um, and I've, I've gotten some kind of intel from some of my sources that seem to indicate this might have been the case for sure. Um, that they said the Binturong was not ready when they got early access. So it seems to indicate that Frontier was just aware that the Binturong wasn't up to the standard that people were used to when they first showcased it. And so I am glad that they fixed it and now it's an animal that everyone can actually enjoy. So... 
I hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. That kind of gives you a look at what the Binturong was. So right now I'll show off what it actually looks like in modern day. And you have to agree, it's night and day. It looks significantly better in the brand new version of the game. So uh, that pretty much covers everything. I kind of like doing these deep dive videos that go into the actual 3D models side of the um, files and stuff. So uh, definitely want to continue doing that. Um, keep your eyes peeled because I have a whole analysis on the tape here that I want to do very, very soon. So stay tuned about that. But as always, thank you guys for watching and I will see you next time.